Yeah! Hola gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day. And I try things so you don't have to. Today, I'm actually looking at a couple different headlamps that I recently got. Uh, and, and comparing the two to see which one I think is better. Now, the first one is a water-resistant LED headlamp by Northbound Train. It shines at 90 lumens and the beam distance goes up to 30 meters. It has a single button right on top, which when you hold it down, it goes from a high beam to a low beam and then back again. It also has a red solid light and a strobe light. Uh, it came with three AA Energizer batteries, which was cool, and it has a lifetime warranty with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Um, and it's below $30, which is really nice. Okay, the next one I got is a waterproof LED headlamp by a company called Vicello. Now it shines at 168 lumens and the beam distance goes up to 110 meters. It's got a six level lighting mode with two separate buttons instead of a single one. And it goes from a dim to a bright with a red lamp also. Uh, but the red also flashes SOS, which is very cool. It came with three AAA Duracell batteries included and uh, a lifetime warranty with 100% satisfaction or a 60-day money-back guarantee. And once again, this one was below $30. It also came with this cool little silicon wristband, which has their name on front. And on the other side, it says, be safe, be safe. If you take a look, I went outside with my video glasses on at night with both headlamps on. And I'm not sure if you can tell a real difference, but first of all, here is the Vicello light. Compared to the northbound train light. Like I said, I don't know if you can tell, but the Vicello light is definitely brighter. Definitely brighter. Okay, the differences that I found. Let's go to the northbound train headlamp first. Uh, when trying to get into this thing to put the batteries in, I almost felt like I was going to crack it. Um, it, it doesn't feel too solid for me. I, it, it, it gave me a little bit of a, a scare a couple times trying to open this because I thought it may crack. Um, I don't like the single button on top because it makes things too complicated. Um, you're not sure, I mean, even though it tells in the instruction manual how to do it, you're not sure exactly. It's not intuitive, I guess I'd say. And it has the red strobe, but it doesn't flash SOS the way the other one does. The most obvious part is the um, uh, 90 lumens with only a 30 meter distance on it. So, I mean, it, it works well for that, but it's just not as far or not as bright. I like the fact that it came with top name batteries instead of cheapies. The energizers are great. I use them all the time. Okay, let's go to the headlamp by Vicello. Um, once again, 168 lumens and goes up to 110 meters. Um, I like the double buttons as opposed to the single button because it's more intuitive. You know that one does the white light, one does the red lights, and it just makes it less complicated. Um, the batteries were fairly easy to put in, and the, the body just seems a lot more solid to me, which is, is good. Uh, came with the Duracell batteries, which is once again a, a top brand battery, so that is very cool. And this thing is touted as being waterproof rather than just water resistant. And then, of course, if you're into little swag stuff, this is kind of fun. Both headlamps, like I say, come in at under $30, so it's really a no-brainer on, on getting one of these things to use for times that you may need them if you're running in the dark or if you break down in your car and you need to be looking, or, or even if I'm running around with my, my glasses on, my video glasses on, it'd be kind of cool to see that in the dark. Um, so my final verdict would be... Um, the Vicello headlamp 
just because of those things that I brought up. It's just a much stronger light. It seems uh, like a better constructed light. And um, the, the buttons, it's more intuitive just to use the buttons. So um, uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put a link to uh, the products down there. You go ahead and check them out. See which one you think is is better. To me, it was a no-brainer. The Vicella wins out over the northbound train one. There you go, guys. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll keep you updated with every single new review coming out. Uh, join me over on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash old nerd reviews and become a part of the old nerd crony community. Also over on Twitter at old nerd reviews. I will see you next video. You have a freaking awesome day. Talk to you later. Bye.